Hi guys, in this video, we're going to focus on finding the perimeter and the area of parallelograms. So what is a parallelogram? Well, it's a shape that is pretty similar to a rectangle because it has four sides and four corners, just like a rectangle, but the only difference is that the corners are not necessarily 90 degree angle. So, how do you find the perimeter of this shape? Well, remember the perimeter is just the sum of all the sides added together. So the perimeter is A plus B plus this side which is A and then plus B again. And so that's your formula for finding the perimeter. Now, sometimes you might see the perimeter written as 2 times A plus B, and these two mean the same thing. We know that A is 5 centimeters, B is 8 centimeters, 5 plus A is equal to 13, and 13 times 2 is equal to 26 centimeters, and that is your perimeter. And so in this parallelogram, the perimeter is 26 centimeters and don't forget to include in your unit at the end. Now, finding the area of parallelograms is a bit more tricky, but I'm going to show you a perfect way to remember how to do that. So if you look at this parallelogram, you see this piece right here. It looks like a triangle. So I'm going to take this piece and move it to the right side. Now, do you recognize what this shape is? It looks like a rectangle. So if you remember from my last video, the area of a rectangle is the base times the height. So it turns out that the area of a parallelogram is the same as the area of a rectangle. And so for now, I'm going to move this back to the left side and we have the original shape and so, as I said, the area is the base times the height, okay? And so we know that the base is 8 centimeters, the height is 4 centimeters, and so the area is 8 times 4, which is equal to 32 centimeters squared. And so that's your area. The area of this parallelogram is 32 centimeters squared and don't forget to put the number 2 up here because we found our area. How about this parallelogram? Well, in this example, the shape is a bit rotated so we can always put it back into the way we know it, right? So this is the same parallelogram and we want to find the area of this parallelogram. And remember, the area is the base times the height. And we know that this is the base, which is 9 meters, and the height is 5 meters. So the area is 9 times 5, which is equal to 45 meters squared. And so the area of this parallelogram is 45 meters squared. Now, this one is the last example we're going to do today. And so, in this parallelogram, we are given an area of 35 meters squared. We know that the base is 7 meters. We know that this side is 6 meters. So, what is the height? If you know how to do it, you are welcome to try. Okay, so, first of all, we need to use the area formula. The area is the base times the height, and we know that the area is 35, the base is 7, and so we can easily find the height. Now, what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 7. And on the left side, 35 divided by 7 gives you 5, and on the right side, 7 times h, or times the height, divided by 7 is just the height. 
because the sevens cancel out. Okay, and so we know that the height is 5 meters. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, I would like you to try this one on your own. So go ahead and find the perimeter and the area of this parallelogram. I'm going to give you some hints. In this shape, the base is 22 meters. The height is 5 meters. And we know that this is the height because it forms a right angle. Okay, and lastly, we know that this side is 13 meters. So go ahead and find the perimeter and the area and put your answer in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video.